Ride with me as we do a neighborhood drive through tour of the Stonebridge Village. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll! <laughs> everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i'm angela o'hare your favorite las vegas realtor and welcome to my summerland series today we are going to be doing a neighborhood drive through tour of stonebridge which is a village in summerland it is a newer village and is located off of charleston and sky vista drive um, to get there you can go off the 215 head west on charleston it is one of the villages that are closest or closest to Red Rock Canyon so a lot of the homes some of them have some beautiful views this village was developed in 2017 but before we talk about this village most importantly make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and if you're thinking about buying a home here in Summerlin or selling you can always reach out to me at 702-370-5112 anyway folks we just took a ride on Sky Vista the right is the Paseos Village, so it goes the Vistas Village, the Paseos Village, and then Stonebridge Village. The first community that took shape in this village, and I remember exactly when it opened up, was Caldonia by KB Homes. It was the very first one, which we're gonna we're gonna take a tour of it um, and look. So I really like this village because of its close proximity to Red Rock Canyon, the beautiful views. Um, and the way it sits, whoops, I didn't hit the stop sign. Um, the way it is nicely sit and this entrance is just absolutely stunning. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, I do. I love this. We should take the drone through here. Yeah. So we're going to have some drone footage throughout as we're talking and we will take a tour of the Stonebridge Park after we've toured Stonebridge and show you some video footage of that park as well. Um, it's a very nice park. So here's Caledonia. It was by KB Homes. And um, this is one of two communities that is not gated. Everywhere else is gonna be gated. The monthly HOA, there's one monthly HOA of $55 for Summerlin West. Mm -hmm. um, so the houses in Caledonia, when they were built, was between 1850 square feet to 3,095 square feet. So you have some bigger homes with three to six bedrooms and two car garages. And the last time I've done a Stonebridge tour, I remember commenting on this village about one, it's kind of narrow in here, and two, all the cars parked in the street on the side. On the side. And of course, we have to do a video on trash days, so we got trash cans. <laughs> Note to self, don't make videos in Summerlin on a Tuesday. Well, at least we know there's trash pickup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we'll find a street where Damien can record some of the houses where the sun's not so bright. We try to get... Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's good. Let's go over here. We try to get out here early so that um, we can beat the sun, but, you know, we are in Vegas and the sun is inevitable. So they had nine different floor plans to choose from with both single and two-story floor plans. Yeah, it's a nice, nice big homes. I like the architecture design details of these homes too. We're not gonna go through like detail of this community, but they have this like little community park area right there. And Stonebridge Park just recently opened up in 2021. It's a beautiful park. We were up here last weekend yeah. taking drone footage of the park. It's so beautiful um, and then especially, I mean, it's a great day today. Look at the views of the mountains. Another great day. We'll lose track of time having fun. Yes. Come on, peoples. Let's hurry up. Alrighty. So the next community is called Shadow Point by Toll Brothers. And they had six different floor plans to choose from. They had three single-story floor plans and three 
two story floor plans and they were kind of like the loft options of the single story floor plans similar to what they have in Acadia Ridge where you would build a loft and maybe another bedroom upstairs um, so let me get into this community uh oh shadow point Well, the code that I got is not working. Mm. <laughs> Always the case. I was smart enough to write all the gate codes for these communities because they are gated. So obviously we cannot take a look at it. So they had the three floor plans. They had the Eclipse, Eclipse Elite, Horizon, Horizon Elite, and Solstice, and Solstice Elite. And they ranged in size between 2364 square feet to 2879 square feet three to four bedrooms, two and a half to four and a half baths, and a two car garages. At the time when this community opened, which is, is a good valid point to have, mm -hmm. this prices were starting in 621995 These homes now are probably in the eight or $900,000 range, if not more. Some of them are actually in the million range. I did sell one home in this community. Is there a door open yet? I did sell a home in this community and I wish I could have toured around it. It was beautiful. Now all of these homes are sold out in Stonebridge. The only community that is not sold out in Stonebridge is actually Heritage at Stonebridge, mm -hmm. which is a 55 plus active adult retirement community here. Oh, there we go. We can get in. Oh yeah. Good point. We're just gonna follow the leader here. <laughs> So get ready because we'll do video of those houses on paper, right? So this does have its community pool, which is nice. That's one thing I like about um, Toll Brothers communities is the community pools that mm -hmm. they put in there. I guess this person's having difficulty as well. The last community we were in, they changed the gate code just last week. Yeah. I had to go look at a house for a client. There you go. Thank you. I like that Toll Brothers does this with the single story option and the elite option. Mm -hmm. These are nice homes. Three car garages. Very nice. Except for that three car garage looks very small. I don't know if you'd be able to fit a, a third car in there. What do you think? Maybe a, a golf <laughs> cart or an ATV yeah. or motorcycles. Mainly maybe for storage, but I would not consider that a three car garage. Here, let me see it. I'm going to record these yeah, houses. Yeah, sure. I remember when these houses were... Um, these are beautiful. Just being built. I actually looked at one of these homes for a client um when it was in the framing stage and unfortunately they didn't get it but that would have been cool if they did yeah looks like they went with all the elite options here mm -hmm. the elite is a two-story version yeah yep. of the single story beautiful i like this i like this style right yeah, here yeah look at the um the elevations are very pretty mm -hmm. the different architectural details it's very nice mm -hmm. Very nice community. This is a great area too. Look yeah, these the houses right here there. should have some good views. Look, you see the red rock right behind them? Yeah, so these houses right here will have uh, view fencing and they'll have views of the overlook right there. Wow. Yeah. Just beautiful. And there's the, the strip. I saw the stadium. Nice. See? I like these floor plans, these the elevations and style. Yeah, they're beautiful. And I used to do a lot of YouTube videos in this community. Um, Rob and I have done a few, and I would come out here and do some Summerlin videos. Oh, yeah. The um, five, uh, five reasons why I hate Las Vegas or whatever, I did it over here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a great little community. These houses are 
I mean, they had double in price at least, some of them. You know what I mean? From the pricing, if they started out in the 600s, whew, right here's the little park. It's like an overlook area. When did this open? What year? Roughly? Well, Caldonia was 2017. I don't okay. know exactly when the Shadow Point opened. Okay. This is really nice. And there's the community pool right there. And, um, it was that house right there. This one? Yep. Cool. That I sold. They found me on YouTube. It's been a couple years now that I sold it. It's been a minute. Or it's coming on two years. Yeah, that was actually a very nice community. Shadow Point. Shadow point. Alrighty. Right I wonder what the they're going to do right here. I yeah. wonder if they're going to keep that empty. It'll be interesting if they do anything. Mm -hmm. A lot of hills in there. Yeah. So next is Sky Knoll by Richmond American Homes. And they had featured three different floor plans. This is the other non-gated community. They have a little community park, which is very cute, right there. Yeah. And um, let's see. These homes ranged in size between 1,600 to 1,890 square feet with three to four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and two car garage. So I'm going to film these houses. They're just basic Richmond American homes. They're probably one of the more affordable homes in this village just because um, they didn't cost that much. When they first opened, they started in $364,950. Wow. Yeah. Up here? Yeah. What year? I don't know. No, no, no. Up here. Up here. Up here. In the, up, yeah. yeah. In Summerlin. In Summerlin, yeah, yeah. At the top of the mountain. Yeah. I remember looking at the models. Yeah, they started out very, very reasonably priced. Now these homes are probably six hundred, seven hundred thousand. That's nice equity. Yeah. Thank you. Looks like roof work already. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, so they're, they're putting solar. in solar. <laughs> Don't that was a good observation, that. though. That yeah. You're like, uh oh, roof work already. If you want to learn more about Stonebridge Village, you can always go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com. I have a page for every village in Summerlin. Summerlin has 24 villages currently right now with a new one on the horizon called Ascension. Mm -hmm. And we have done a video on Ascension yeah. oh. as well. It's a beautiful community over there in Summerlin South off of Town Hills and um, Mesa Drive, I think. Mm -hmm. Or Tropicana. Tropicana. Someone's cleaning Yeah, that place, that, that Ascension's going to be very large. Yeah. These kind of remind me of KB homes. Oh, I agree. And yeah, when we look, look at them. the KB neighborhood, Bristol Val, you'll see what I'm talking about. Cool. I like the little accents that they have with the walls. And yeah. How it's at an angle. Stonebridge. Yeah. So now we're going to take a tour of Heritage, which is a 55 plus retirement community by Lennar Homes. And um, this one opened in 2021. They have a couple phases and they're already in their second phase. They recently opened last year their community center. Demi and I have done a video of this community mm -hmm. so stay tuned to that um that this may have already been posted i don't know uh oh we need to get a photo of that yeah that sign right there yeah hello i'm a realtor showing my client the models Oops, sorry. do you need my card oh yeah thank you 
So in this community, they have nine different floor plans to choose from with three different collections. They are still selling in this community. Mm -hmm. um, I've sold a few homes in this community. I really like it, mm -hmm. especially the clubhouse and the views that the clubhouse has. Um, we're not going to get out and show you the clubhouse because, again, stay tuned to the video that we will be posting in the near future about Heritage at Stonebridge just because it has a great detail of, of the community and the uh, amenities that it has to offer. Mm -hmm. And so you have the three different collections, which is the Evander, the Sterling, and the Cromwell, and that's the Ethan, Everly, and... Elizabeth floor plans, and then the Sawyer, Sydney Sloan, and then the Carson Claremont and Connery. So we're just going to briefly come up here, and um, this is where the model homes are. Mm -hmm. If you want to give me the yes camera. So there's the there's Ethan. Someone. Yeah, that's the Ethan. And the Everly. Everly is the one with the next-gen suite. And we have the Sloan. And that's part of the Sterling collection. And this is the Sydney, 1953 square feet. Then the Sawyer. And then right here are the three Cromwell models, or two of them, sorry. Um, and those are a little interesting. Then straight ahead is the, I didn't turn it off. Thank you. Community Center and Park. It's just beautiful up beautiful here. Beautiful views. Yeah. You're up between the Red Rocks and the Strip views. You'd see them both. And their community pool. The pool. Oh, yeah. It's gorgeous. So, yeah, we're not going to stop and, and tour all of this. The last video we did of Red Point Village was like almost an hour long. So, we kind of just want to show you that they're still actively selling in this community. Um, and that they're already starting on the upper phase, which has a higher elevation, which you'll have beautiful city views. And there she be. Yeah. And all that stonework, like you said. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. And it has white and then the red. And the... Yeah, we'll have to do in the future a just a neighborhood tour of Stonebridge. Um, not right now, but in the near future we will do that because I like this 55 plus retirement community Me too. That's just gorgeous. I like that um, asymmetrical roof line of that gate mm -hmm. yeah we'll have to um, ooh, we'll have to do a drone footage of that and then uh, coming, coming straight through no this way yeah and, and then, then, and then fly the over it yeah fly yeah. over it and, and get the mountain footage yeah we'll buzz the we're Security. addicted to our drone. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. We'll take it and add it to the video. Yeah, just add it to the video. Yeah. Just straight through. Yeah, straight through. Drone. Look at the now how busy it got. Yeah. That's funny. We brought everybody with us. Okay. Let's see which one's next. Sandalwood, I think. Either Sandalwood or Greycliff. Looks like Sandalwood's gonna be first. So Sandalwood is by TriPoint Homes. And I remember when this community opened up, I was like loving it um, because again, I'm a fan of TriPoint, mm -hmm. formerly Party Homes, and this opened right during COVID Oh wow. in 2020. So it was very hard. Well, there's this car right there. I don't know if they're going to be going. There he goes. Um, it opened in 2020. Uh, this is the one neighborhood I never sold in, which I really wanted to. And I remember when it opened i couldn't do videos of it and it was a little disappointing i don't know if i even made any videos of the model homes these are beautiful they're Look at that. huge so sandalwood um had five different floor plans to choose from actually six they range in size between 3151 to 4454 square feet with three to five bedrooms three and a half to five and a half bathrooms and three to four car garages at the time now this is at the time and they have single story and two story floor plans was starting at 765,000 to 925,000. They are absolutely expensive now. Let's see, is that row long yeah, enough? These... We'll go down to the next row. 
So I do have a friend that bought in here. Look at that. Yeah, I know. Too. They have some beautiful Pulse. views. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I get the key phone? Yep. Seems like my side of the car has the, uh, the, the right sun, the right sun hitting it. I love the elevations. Yeah. The, this community is, wow. We should stop by and say hi to Jess. Yep. Jess, if you're watching, hello. <laughs> He's the one that was sending me the pool pictures that he had just gotten done. Mm -hmm. With the pebble tech and all that? The yeah. Dark, yeah, well, that's beautiful. Love these floor plans. Me too. Wow. Look at that. The garage door. Uh, yep. Yep. Gorgeous. Yeah. Me likey. All of these homes are nice. Very nice. Wow. Look at that one right there. In the I front. almost sold that one. I tried to sell it. Robert and I have made video on it. Was it that one? That was it. That one right over. Oh, it's that no. one over wow. there. Wow, just they're all amazing. Look at this thing. New view. What does that mean? New view landscaping. Oh. Kind of reminds me of our landscape. Very modern. They just layered it. Yeah. They did away with the um the builder. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, that is. Ooh, that's one of the things I was talking about. Oh, those? Yeah, I like those. Yeah, they look I like, like almost those. like bamboo. Yeah, mm -hmm. but they're succulent. Yeah, they're succulent bamboo. Yeah, these are nice houses. <laughs> I like them. And at least they feel like they have more room than King's Canyon. Here we go. I can get this. Alrighty. Um, or trash day again. One. Trash day. Look at that one. Wow. Well, that is so cool. That Love the wall. architectural design. That one Look is at this cool one. too. Wow. Um, where's Jess's house? Actually, that's, I think that's, that's his it house. Right there? Yeah, I think so. Let's see, I'll just 787. Yeah, I think that's it. Gorgeous. Was it that one? I don't remember. One of these? One of these houses. Ooh, look what they did to this one. Yeah, well done, dude. Beautiful. All right, the sun's kind of in the way now. Ah. Love the designs. So beautiful. Sandalwood. Do these places um, have a lot of... Look at this one. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the one that has that view. Mm-hmm. I bet you those views were, were like 300,000. <laughs> Probably. Look how much room the guy's got. Yeah. Okay. What were you asking? Oh, I was going to say, I noticed a lot of people have their cars plugged in here in their driveways. I saw that. There's, there's a few vehicles. Yeah, I'm sure people have that. Mm -hmm. Builders leave it as an option. Oh, I see. This is a great community. Yeah. Sandalwood. Sandalwood. Tri-Point Homes. If you want resale. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. The next one should be Great Cliff. It's nice that the workers are working today, so we don't have to worry about getting the... No, Great Cliff. Oh, good. I did have the code for Great Cliff. Why up here? It is. We'll do Gray Cliff and then Scott's Pine. Oh, nice. It's open. That's convenient. Yep. Now, I sold four homes in this community. Very nice community. This mm -hmm. is by Lennar Homes. And at the time, they had three different floor plans to choose from that range in size between 26, 34 square feet to 32, 14 square feet, four bedrooms, three to three and a half bathrooms, and let's go this way. Yeah. Uh, two to three car garages. Now, when this first opened, I like going over this. The starting price was from 589,990 to 625,990. Wow. That ain't that case now. No. Um, way more. It's way more now. So I sold like three houses on that road right there. Yeah, and this one has the next gen suite, the mahogany, so that's cool. I like uh, it's thirty two hundred square feet. 
So yeah, these houses are pretty expensive now. Again, they probably are 300000 more than what people bought them for. Wow. They've gained a lot of equity. Is that someone's house with that park thing? Yeah, I think that's their playground in the back, their backyard. Because it's the main park on the other side of that. Yeah, that's cool. Can I see the phone? Yeah, sure. And these ones, I like how they did all these asymmetrical roof lines in, in this community. And your side's way better on the light. Yeah. Let me get situated. See how nice the design features are? Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like in our community. That's not their typical style. See, what's up with these three car garages? Is it me? Do they look small? That third car does look a little small. I mean, can I guess you honestly it could fit a car in there? I guess technically if you were A skinny, very small car. Like an old <laughs> 72 or, Volkswagen Bug. Or one of those um, other ones, uh, Mini Coopers. Mini Cooper or Fiat. <laughs> Smart car. Yeah, that's small. I would use that for storage. It's amazing how time flies. I remember when they were building this and it was all construction. Probably the last Stonebridge video I did, this community was still under construction. Wow. Yeah. Now look at it. It's amazing. That's a good spot. Yeah. A lot of the ones, those had great views and they had high lot premiums. They're really up there. Mm -hmm. High too. Yeah, they're highly elevated. Interesting that the, um, the seating in the front, the little courtyards. Oh, have. I remember when they built this. This was one of the last houses being sold on this road. Right here? Yeah. Nice. Because this is where the ending, where they had left this cul-de-sac. This uh, is like the end of it all. End of it all, yeah. These are big. They're huge. I mean, the smallest one's, what, 2,600 square feet? Yeah. The biggest one's 32, but this was the row I wanted to go on. So these right here were the model homes. Mm. Oh, that's, yeah, you Off can tell. Were the model yes. homes. Look at all, isn't a little old growth now? Yeah. They've been here a while. All right, so now we're gonna go to Scott's Pine. Right across the way. Right across the way. Got a code for it. Hopefully it'll yes. let us enter. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I like how the rocks accent the back. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's a common theme for most of the communities here because of Stone Bridge. Mm -hmm. It worked. It, it worked. Did. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. So Scott's Pine by Richmond American is an all single story luxury homes and they had four different floor plans to choose from that range in size. These are large uh, single story homes, 3370 to 4,000 square feet with four to five bedrooms, two and a half to four and a half bathrooms and three car garages. Wow. So look how huge they are. That's beautiful. Look at that beautiful home right there. Yeah. I like those barrel cactuses out front. Look at that. Yeah. That's well done. Very beautiful. Yeah, this is nice. Very clean. Look at that garage. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the house I was... Alrighty, baby. We should do that. Okay. Camera. All right, camera. Seems like I'm... Honey, I want to do that for our garage. <laughs> I don't know if I want glass. Would you want glass? The black would, would so, look so good. Yeah, it does look good. Like this one right here with the, the uh, frosted glass. Mm -hmm. I like that. Me too. I think it's better than the reflective yeah, glass. Wow, these have great architecture details too. Mm -hmm. They don't look like traditional Summerlin homes. No, what an interesting door. Hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Look where they go. There's Angela O'Hare. <laughs> it's funny, Damien and I, lately everywhere we've gone, 
have uh, a lot of people recognizing me, which it's been cute. I've been starstruck. <laughs> I, I mean, it's just funny. I'm, I'm very humble about it, but right. it's like I never had so many people recognize me. Oh my gosh, you're Angelo Hare. It's so cute. <laughs> wow, this is Make, big. Makes our heart grow. Yes, this is this is really big. And it looks like a lot of them did um, their own unique front yards. They changed it up probably from what the builder had provided. Ah, but, but that's these, what's going on now. The prices. When I first started doing this, started um, from seven fifty eight nine fifty, and the highest was eight hundred or eight thirty three nine fifty. So these started out pretty high, but I'm sure these ones are probably in the million dollars now. Beautiful. Yeah, this is a very nice community. Single story, and it just looks this nice. It's cool. I, I like the um, the width of the streets. Yes. Because some of them feel a little crammy. Mm -hmm. Look at that. They're, they're very clean. Yeah. I do like the frosted glass. Yeah, I think I like too. the frosted glass mm -hmm. better. I mean, they did some very nice jobs in their front yard landscaping. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. I haven't driven... Um, in here in a long time, so obviously I'm like ooh and an ah. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is just this is another very nice community. It's yeah. right next to Sandalwood too. I really like the all single story community. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel so uh, claustrophobic. Right. Very nice. It feels yeah, it does. It feels more spread out. Mm-hmm. Now, the only one I wasn't able to find a gate code was Westcott, so I don't know if we will be able to get into that community. If it's open like this one, then that would be nice. We'll let the universe decide. Yes. Westcott is also by Lennar Homes, and they had three different floor plans to choose from. Uh, they were all two-story homes, ranging in size between 1834 to 2099 square feet, three to four bedrooms and two and a half to three bathrooms and two car garages. So these are smaller homes compared to um, Gray Cliff. So let's see. Nope. You weren't meant to see it, but that's okay. You're not missing much. <laughs> <laughs> They're nice homes and they all have beautiful balconies. Alrighty. Let's keep on trucking. It's already been 32 minutes long. Ooh. We need to wrap this baby up. So what I decided to do is start redoing my neighborhood tours of all the villages in Summerlin. And what we're going to be doing is starting with the newest to the oldest before I started with the oldest to the newest. So um, pay attention. We've posted the Castle Commons Village. There's Durrell Academy, mm -hmm. a charter school. We've posted the Red Point Village and the Red Point Square Village, and then next in line is Stonebridge. Home of the Dragons. Home of the Dragons. All right, so the yep. next community is called Bigsby Creek by Woodside Homes. And I do have a code, so let's see. Oh, we're going to get lucky anyway. Yeah, we'll just let this car go in first. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hurry up. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're going to make me miss my, my cue to get in. <laughs> All right. So this one had what, one and two story floor plans that range in size between 1931 to 2591 square feet. And they had um, two different collections. They had collection one and two. I guess they had some single story ones. Too. Yeah. On the right here, they do. Yeah. So, you spin me right round, baby, right round, like a wrecker, baby, round, 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 round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, round, 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 round. We love the 80s channel on Sirius XM. Oh, love it. Love 80s. So I guess the outer edge is all the single story homes and the inside is the two story homes, it looks like. 
Ooh, this, this is, is nice good too. too. <laughs> uh, we're rolling. Watch out, here I come. She spins me rise round, baby, rise round. Like a record, baby, round, 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 round. Now, the last video we did of the Red Point Village, or one of the videos we did of, of driving around, we noticed that I wasn't on the right side of the film. Right. We were, I, it looked like I was driving. It looked like he was driving. So I'm hoping that is not the case on this video. Yeah. And if it is, we apologize. It wasn't intentional. It's just how the iPhone, I have it set up normally, looking at the green dot, um, it transversed us, right? Yeah. Um, so it's kind of interesting. I don't get a good feel of this one. This one's okay. Mm -hmm. It just seems like a lot of cars in the um, road. I think we have the setting on the British versions. That's why it looks like I'm the one driving. <laughs> yeah, it looked like, uh, looked like that. No, it, if it was the British version, I was the one driving. Oh, because oh, Because okay. I was on the right side. Yes. Right? Yeah, that I'm just driving so smoothly, I just don't have to look. I just. <laughs> All right, next is going to be Bristol Val by Katie Holmes. I've sold a handful of homes in this community as well. Great Cliff. All right, so Bristol Valve had two different collections, um, and they had, gosh, how many floor plans do they have? They had five and seven, so that's how much? Twelve? What's five plus seven? Yeah, twelve. They had twelve different floor plans to choose from. Um, the first collection ranged in size between 1787 to 2466 square feet, with three to five bedrooms, two and a half to four bathrooms, and two car garages. And the prices when they first opened up, you want to hear this? What were they? Three hundred seventy-six nine ninety and okay. four thirty-three nine ninety. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's really good. The next you have collection two, which has the seven floor plans, and they were all one and two story, um, ranging in size between eighteen fifty-eight to thirty sixty-three, three to six bedrooms, two to five baths, and two car garages. And they started out at four hundred and twelve nine ninety and four thirty one nine ninety. And nothing like that now. Hell no. All right, I got the gate code. I sold two or three homes in this community when it so. Woo! It opened up. Welcome to the gym. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really mad at YouTube for putting restrictions on um, licensing for music. Such a pain in the butt. <laughs> Especially when it's background stuff. Yeah, it's just background noise. So the collection two was right over here, and collection one was up in the front. And I'll show you where the model homes were. The model homes were right here. Mm-hmm. And then my friend's house looks like he has company. No, that's not it. No? It's this one right here. No, this one. Cool. Arguably. It's been I a like long the time marble on the outside. Since I've been to his house. Oh, I should have gotten some video. Mm, this one's yeah, still over. Yeah. I'll have to go around and come back down that way and then you can get the video. Okay. Yeah, I sold a 2466 and I think a 2070. It was that one right there. They bought it as a rental. It's great views. And then another one over here. I can't remember which one. They all start to blend. <laughs> You're right. They, these are KB homes though, right? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can tell, like you said about the other ones, how they look similar. Yeah. Actually, I should have got it right here. This is good. Oh, well. I wasn't paying attention. Nope. There you go. Cool. There you go. Oh, some time left on accident. Alrighty. Sorry about the trash cans. 
and these homes look a lot closer together. So these were at the time a little more affordable than other parts of the community. Um, I think the Richmond American Sky Knoll was actually cheaper than this, but it's amazing how much the prices increased in two years. Cool. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. We only have two more communities to go over and then we are going to take a tour of the park. I apologize, this is a long one, but the newer videos are going to be longer because of them being new construction recently. I know a lot more about them than some of the builders for the older uh, villages here in Summerlin. Going forward, we will not be doing as detailed tours because we're not going to be going in each community and going over what it was because now I don't even know what some of these builders were. So this is cool. Oh, they blocked that road off. They did. You used to be able to go through there. Cut around like a little... Um, it hasn't gone all the way yet, but it's going to lead to the new villages eventually. Yeah, because here's the top right here. This, this is it. Yeah. So eventually right here to the left is going to be um, one of the five new villages that will be coming to Summerlin West. This is Alta. Yeah. Yep. So now we're going to go over the last two Pulte communities that was built over here. And um, I think the first one is Starling. I almost sold in the foxtail. So the Starling, let me see. I think Starling is the first one. Yes. Nineteen seventy six. Ah, okay. Well, that don't work. All righty. That's probably for the best. Yeah. So briefly, um, this community had five floor plans to choose from, uh, three two-story floor plans, and I guess they had one sing two single story. So they ranged in size between 3026 to 3824 with three to five bedrooms and two and a half to four and a half bathrooms with most of them two and three car garages. These were a lot bigger. So the famous ones are Palermo and San Remo, Tivoli, Starwood, and Willowbrook. So this San Remo and I do believe Palermo are over there um, right now in Valridge by Pulte Homes and Sky Hills. So now next to Starling is Foxtown by Pulte Homes as well. Let's see if we'll have access. 13, whoops, I should say it out Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, you get the gist of it, folks. So this one had two series, I do believe. Um, it had a mix of one and two-story homes with six different floor plans that ranged in size between 2,063 to 2,450 square feet with two to four bedrooms and two to three car garages. So unfortunately, Oh, Traced, Garden Gate, Park Lane. A lot of the famous um, floor plans by Pulte. That sucks. Shame on the people for putting the wrong gate code in the MLS. Mm. <laughs> right? Should be, they should look at that. So now we're going to go take a tour of the Stonebridge Park and then wrap things up. Thank you. 
Okay, we just landed at Stonebridge Park. It opened in 2021. It's a beautiful park. Of course, Damien has my papers, so I don't remember how many acres it is, but you do have community restrooms right here. And I've done a video when it first opened up. If you want to check it out, I'm just going to do a brief video of it. Kids are in school right now, so that's nice. Last time we were here when we did the drone footage, it was full. It was on a Sunday. Cute little park. Then they have some soccer fields. I think they used to have shade structures. That's where these poles are for. Go check out the pickleball. I think they have four pickleball courts here and it looks like there's tons of people playing right now. They also have a full basketball court with I think eight hoops, two, four, five, six hoops. Hold on, I have to push pause. My daughter's calling me. Okay, I'm gonna answer the phone. Nobody's out walking their doggies. nice basketball court. Then they have another little play structure over there. Pickleball is sweeping the nation. Everybody loves to play pickleball.
Well, that wraps up tour of Stonebridge Park. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Okay, that concludes our neighborhood drive through tour of the Stonebridge Village. Let us know in the comments if you live in this awesome village. And if you do, what do you think of it? And also let us know what you thought of the park. I will probably add some extra drone footage in the end of this video, so stay tuned and watch that as well. What did you think? What were your, your takeaways of this uh, village? I like all the villages. Sandalwood still was my favorite one, but uh, yes, very yeah, beautiful up there. I think Scott's Pine was my favorite mm -hmm. Sandalwood second, even though I love Tri-Point Homes. I just like the feel of Scott's Pine. All single-story homes. It felt a little more open. Mm -hmm. The streets were, seemed a little wider than most of the communities. And also, Shadow Point's nice, too. Oh, yes, I agree. Shadow Point was beautiful as well. Anyway, folks, if you're thinking about buying or relocating to the Summerlin area or even selling, I am your Summerlin expert. I buy, live, breathe, and sell in Summerlin. Mm -hmm. You can reach out to me at 702-370-5112. But most importantly, like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and we can't wait to see you on the next video. Peace out.